So, I am going to be doing my June favorites. Yeah, no. It's July 18th. So, I'm going to be doing some favorites. I know that it's like a weird time of the month to be doing favorites, so maybe this will be exciting because mine will come out when no one else is out. I don't know. Um, basically, I just suck at doing these on time. So, we're just going to go with it and get started. So, the first thing that I really want to talk about with you guys... So the first thing that I wanted to mention is actually, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys is actually a new app that I've really been loving. It's called the Influencer app, and basically it's just an awesome like app site to go to when you want to get reviews, when you want to get your questions answered about a product. Um, it has like a barcode so you can actually scan a product and it'll like bring up what it has on it. It's really, really cool. Um, it's completely free to join. There's, you know... No costs associated with it at all. And it's just awesome for people that like are like me. And literally every time I go to a store or something, I will look up reviews. Like I won't buy a product unless I've read like 10 reviews on it. And it has like really, really good reviews. I'm like constantly in stores, like on my phone, like and I'm like in CVS, like by the makeup aisle for like 15 minutes, just like scanning through reviews. So this is really nice because it's just a one-stop kind of thing for that, where you'll see all the reviews all together at once. You don't have to go to like a million different sites to find them. It's really, really cool. There's a ton of members. There's like a million members on there. So you're going to get um, a lot of feedback on a product. You'll get your questions answered if you have something that you want to know about a product that you can't find in a review. It's really cool because you can ask a question and then usually people will get back to you. And they also have these really cool things called box boxes, which are full of complimentary full-size products um, to try. And you just get them by interacting on the app, reviewing things, answering questions, and asking questions. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. I will have a link down below to where you guys can check it out. It's just called Influencer. You can search on the app store too and download it. So jumping into some beauty favorites. Um, this first one is itself tanner. This is the Norville Professional Tanner. I think this is like the same brand that they use in tanning salons. Um, for spray tans. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like less than $10 and I will say it's not as dark as my um, St. Moraz one which I love. However this one I just feel like is a little bit more natural looking and it doesn't smell quite as bad as that one does and I feel like I can get away with not washing this one off and if I get kind of wet it won't like smear and rub like that one will. Um, so I really do like this one a lot and like I said I got it off Amazon pretty inexpensive so if I can find the link for the buyer I got it from I will link it down below. I actually ordered from Colourpop this month. This was the first time that I've ever um, tried any of their stuff out and I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Um, I mean not surprised because I had heard like amazing things about it but um, you always really hope that their the hype is you know there for a reason and it definitely is. So I'm going to share with you guys a few of the favorites that I had for my order. Uh, the first one is their blushes. So this one is in between the sheets and I only ordered like one of each thing because I wanted to try out kind of a little bit of everything. Um, but I definitely plan to order more. These blushes are really, really nice because they stay on all day. Like blush is the first thing to go on me and this is still there after a 10 hour day. It's crazy. So I love this color. It's kind of like a peachy nude color. Um, it's really, really pretty. And then I also tried their bronzer. I think I maybe got a, just like a little bit too light of a bronzer just because I feel like I'm constantly kind of having to like dip my brush in this one and go over probably more than I would with other bronzers. However, um, I really do love the color and after I build it up, I do really like the color and tone it gives me. So this one's in Skinny Dip and it looks like this. The one thing I will say too is that I've already hit pan on it, but like I said, I think that's kind of because I keep having to go back for more because it's not as dark as it needs to be. Um, but it is a really good bronzer. It lays on the skin beautifully and like the blush, it lasts like all day. And there's Shuster. <laughs> so um, yeah, I really have been liking the bronzer and I want to get another one in like a little bit of a darker shade. And then this eyeshadow. Oh my god, you guys, this eyeshadow. So this is in the color Millionaire and oh my god, it's so gorgeous. And I've also actually painted on this. So I don't know. I feel like that's not, I've only had these for like less than a month. So I kind of feel like there's not a ton of product in here, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I don't know. Let me guys, let me know your guys' experience with ColourPop and if you've had that happen to you. But this color is just so gorgeous. I'll try to swatch it for you guys. It's very, very glittery and gold, um, but not like super intense gold. It's like a bronzy gold. So I 
just this is really pretty I've been loving this and then their lippy sticks this is in the color Lum Lumiere love this this is like my kind of color this is for me like an everyday color um, just kind of like a rosy darker red not red like pink like a rosier pink um, just a great everyday color for me these are the kind of colors I gravitate towards and I like this because it's matte and this also stays on all day it stays put really really well I did order some of their um, ultra matte lips that just came out and I don't really have too many thoughts on these just because the colors that I got I wasn't in love with this is the color Tule or Tule and I also got Trap which were kind of the two most hyped ones because they're the most like Trap is a very grayish color which is on trend right now and then this one is supposed to be similar to Kat Von D's Lolita however I think this is like really really dark and only a color that I could pull off in the warmer in the cooler months just because I'm so very skinned and kind of blondish reddish hair and they just don't look good on me unless it's like I don't know that season if that makes sense so that's that one and I just don't know it's just like really really dark and I tried to like do a thin layer of it and it still just came off really really dark so I don't know I do, I think the formula is nice though. I know people were saying they were really drying and I actually don't think they were that drying. So I would be interested to try some of the other ones out, um, some different colors, but those are just my little, that's my little two cents on that. Another lip product I've been loving is the NYX Simply Nude Lip Crown. This one's in the color that's on here. Oh, Sable. And it's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's just a really nice kind of brownie nude. Um, but the thing I love about this is that it is that brownie nude color that's very end, but it's not too brown because when they're too brown, they just look horrible on me. So this is like a perfect kind of in-between color where it's a little bit more brown, more beige, if that makes sense, but it's not like, you know, it flatters my skin tone. <laughs> and I feel like I'm looking at the viewfinder a lot, you guys. It's just been like, I just haven't filmed in so long and I'm just like... Sorry, I know that's really, really annoying. Another lipstick, this is a new one from the Maybelline Matte line in the color Blushy and Pout. So they had like a bunch of new colors come out and this was definitely the one that to me I was most excited to try just because it's one of those colors that's totally me that I would wear all the time. And it's a very kind of like pink, and it's turning the camera a weird color. It's a very like kind of pink with a little bit of like mauve undertones, which I think look really, really nice in the summer. So I've been loving this and I did try the Clay Crush one that was really hyped up and I just didn't find that I loved it on my skin tone. I feel like it would be a great, great, great color for um, people with darker skin tones, but for me it was just, I don't know, it was kind of a fail. So my last favorite is the NYX Avant, Avant, I'm probably a loser, I don't know, I don't, I'm saying that wrong, Pop palette. Um, it comes with 10 eyeshadows, they came out with three of these recently and this is definitely the more neutral one of all of them. And I'm wearing all of these, to, no, I'm not wearing all of these, I'm wearing all the eyeshadows, actually but one, that I'm wearing today are from here. And I did like the purple kind of look with a little bit of that one and the highlight. And these are just gorgeous. I don't know how well you guys can see my eyes, but these are just like really, really good colors. Really, really pigmented, very smooth, very easy to blend. And I've just been getting a lot of use out of this. So I've been really liking this and um, it is kind of like... A lot for drugstore I think it was like 17 um, but for the pigmentation the quality and the fact that you're getting 10 eyeshadows I mean it's a it's a good deal so been really liking this and that's it you guys those are my favorites so um, yeah I hope you guys liked this video uh, make sure to thumbs up if you did also if you guys haven't checked out the whisper challenge video that I uploaded last I will have that link down below because I didn't get a ton of views and it's hilarious. It's really funny. Um, I did it with my best friend Kristen and we just had a blast doing it. So check that out. I will have that link down below. Uh, make sure to thumbs it up, comment, let us know what you think. If you like those kind of videos for me, I can do more. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.